Oh fuck. It's another one. You better run. There's killer birds out in this bitch. Shit. Yeah, no kidding. It's the sequel to Alfred Hitchcock's movie. Fuck you, dear! Okay, before we get into the whole next mission and all that, um, I have a new weapon. New, new, two new guns, actually. I have, uh, I could probably just go into this, the crafting? No, that's not what it is. Do I actually have anything to be able to craft? No, I do not. Okay. Um, fuck. Alright, I don't remember where it is I go for weapons, but, yeah, I have the two new weapons. I have, um, this pistol, which is, uh, not moddable, it just comes as is. But, uh, seems pretty cool. It has a silencer, which is nice, and it has, uh, you know, some cool-looking sights, and it has some camouflage. I like it. Then there's this gun, which is, um, you know, it's not, se it's not automatic. It's not even semi-automatic. It's just one, you know, one shot, and then, re or not reload, but one shot, one shot, one shot. There's no continuous spread, uh, uh, I'm not, I'm gonna stop trying to act like I know anything about guns. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, this was moddable. I added, um, some sights, and I added a silencer, which, uh, is awesome. So, yeah, those are things. And, uh, yeah, also, um, installed a new, the new driver since, uh, last time, and there was an update that wasn't installing at the time because I was playing the game. I guess it can't do that or something. I don't know. But, yeah, the new update came out, and, um, things are looking better. Uh, there's not, like, this weird black shade that there once was all over the place, so that's nice. Makes things a lot easier to see. Um, ah, fuck, I'm on fire. God damn it. That was just stupidity on my part. Um, but yeah, the game doesn't really run uh, as great as I was hoping that the update would provide. It still has this sort of choppiness. Um, once again, it's not like major lag or anything, it's just like a, something that happens every once in a while. Like this occasional dip down to like, you know, by like five or so frames. Um, I thought that it might have just been my, my, my stuff, but, uh, turns out Total Biscuit was having the same problem. I, I looked at his port report. He had the same thing going on, so evidently this is a, a con consistent problem for a lot of people, which is, uh, kind of annoying. But hopefully they've fixed that over time. It is only, you know, the second day that the game's been out. Where the fuck is this guy? There you are. One second. I need. It's a ball. Was that intel from the camp worth it? Did you even read it? Because I've got some intelligence for you. And it's solid. Nine of my men are dead. Good men, you let die. You guys put me in a difficult position. The right choice was obvious! It's what your father would have done. That's the golden path! That's the direction we were going before he died and it all went to shit! Amita doesn't get it. She's always put her goals first. She's underhanded, she's subversive, and she always sacrifices lives. That's why I stepped up. I stepped up because I knew your father. And I respected his vision. We need to learn what drove him. What drives us. Go to the monastery. Educate yourself, Archie. Well, I gotta say, I was not expecting that. That was really well done. Um, the game isn't treating me like I'm a piece of shit. It's just giving me the sort of, you know, reaction that you would expect out of the opposing side. He was very upset with me. Which is interesting because it's a total contrast to what his character usually was, which is this kind of like, um, tranquil, kind of like, hey man, kind of, kind of like, sort of attitude. Not really confrontational, just nice, right? And then when I pull that shit, he gets really upset. 
Uh, but I like that. And actually, it's kind of making me reconsider what I did. Uncle Pagan here, just checking in on my favorite nephew. So tell me, RJ, who are you rooting for so far? Have you fallen into Amitar's honey pots, or have you been dazzled by Sabal's flowing locks and bad boy jawline? Hey, each to his own. That's your lifestyle choice to make. He isn't my cup of tea, contrary to the rash assumptions some may make about my appearance. I am indeed batting for the other team. You more than most should know that there was only ever one woman for me, my boy. Interesting. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm... It's like an age-old sort of question, you know? Uh, which one do you want to go for? Do you want to go for the here and now, saving what, what matters right now? Or do you want to try to um, work for the greater good? Uh, which is kind of the Amida versus Sabal sort of argument. You know, Sabal is more about saving the people that are right here in front of him. The here and now, right? Whereas Amida is more so like, okay, let's look to the future. What matters more? Losing these nine lives right now or losing hundreds potentially in the future? Um, so it's almost like Sabal is a little bit short-sighted, whereas Amida is callous and, and uncaring. Um, and I don't know. I, I've, it's always been a conflicting sort of thing for me in games. Like, which one is more important to me? You know, the morality or the, uh, the realistic cause and effect? Here's what I do know is I don't like Amita and I do like Sabal as a person. I don't know if there's anybody in here I need to worry about. No, okay, I'm fine. I would not have been able to see any of this prior to the update. No question about it. He just doesn't like idiots. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down there real quick and see if there's anything interesting or important. Okay, it's just like a shrine. Are you wearing pants? It honestly does not look like it. But did you cut your dick off or something? Fuck it. Alright, I don't care. It's... Uh, I don't care. It's not my business. I don't need to know. Salam, beta, Ajay. Yeah, salam, beta, to you as well. Get the fuck out of my way. Alright, uh... Up this way. More of your weird-ass body paint. That just seems uncomfortable to have on you hey, all the time. How have you been? You look like you smell like cat piss. Um, the monast or this monastery is carved into the mountainside around 500 BC by the followers of Kira. It is here that the spoken teachings of Kira were first written down and recorded. Uh, Kal Jama has been carefully preserved and renovated many times in the centuries following its construction and is still an active monastery and temple to this day. Ooh. Nice tits. Get your work done? Looks like she got some work done. Honestly, it does. But, uh, I'm not here to judge. Alright. And, uh, okay. Uh, the son of the great Mohan. Sabal tells me you're ready to learn what inspired your father. Banashur, god of gods, sang the world into existence. For that, we give him thanks. We thank the gods for giving us life. Please. Take an offering basket. Okay. I'll do that. So I need to complete the pilgrimage. Are you following me? Okay, so I guess I, I'm, I was assigned this task to gain karma for allowing all those people to die. Or at least that was Sabal's mindset, perhaps. A I don't know you. Us that growth only comes with a willingness to step beyond our usual boundaries. All right, so I lit a camera or camera candle. I lit a candle, so that makes me a good person. Do I have to fuck the goat? 
Oh, I have to kill it? That's almost as bad. Maybe I don't have to do anything. No, I guess not. Alright, never mind. The gods bless us with wisdom, and we collect them in the prayer wheel to purify ourselves from bad thoughts. Spin the wheel. My good person yet? Life without emotion is no life at all. But a life controlled by emotion is to be consumed by it. Add the powder. Life is as tenuous and fleeting as a wisp of sweet-smelling smoke. The incense represents our mortality. I've returned to him. Ajay, the intel you recovered, that map, it's the monastery. The army's going to attack your location any minute now. Stay ah. inside. The army's coming to attack. Fantastic. I, I really like this. I like this. Cause and effect, motherfucker. Cause and effect. I can't wait to rub this in that guy's face. Yeah, I'm a real asshole, huh? Oh, plant C4. Oh, fuck, I didn't realize. Soldiers are coming. Go grab weapons from the crates. Uh, plant it. I assume that they'll be around there. I don't think that works at all. All right, well, that was useless. They're destroying the icon. Ow. They're going after the weapons cache. They're attacking the holy statue. Uh. Perfect. Enemy setting bomb at the shrine. Just give up, man. It's not gonna work. I shot him in the ass. Uh-oh. That's pointless. There's, that's not gonna work. Shots. Jesus Christ! I can't see, but I was hopeful that I could get something out of that. Uh oh. Constant like back and forth. There we go. The soldiers are 
attacking the weapons cache. I need help. Shit. They're trying to blow open the door. Fuck. That aim there. There we go. But yeah, there's a lot of back and forth here. Damn it. There we go. Shit. Oh my god. They won't give up. Oh, I think that's bad. It's about to explode. Okay, wow, that was close. I could tell that was close. Is it over? You saved us. You are your father's son, Ashe. Thank you, Ashe. Thank you. Okay. Uh, completed karma events or spin the money wheel? Okay, blah, blah, blah. Hey, the pictures are back, by Amita, the way. The monastery is safe. Maybe now Sabal will see the importance of good intel. If you hadn't secured that map, we would never would have stopped this in time. Good work, Ajay. Yep, I know. Great work. It was brilliant, as a matter of fact.